Say hi to YouTube. Can you go back and get the tripod? I forgot it. It's lost. God, this walk sucks. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris. And I'm Ola. And today we're starting here at Split Rock Reservoir. And we're gonna head towards Barney State Park. So explore with us and come see what we can find. If I'm reading the map correctly, there's gonna be some vistas over there. So we're gonna try to head this way around the reservoir towards Farney so, State right, Park. Let's, let's bring it here. Okay, so. The one day that we want to go see Vista, she was like, we're going to go to this place with Vistas. It's the foggiest day you could ask for. We could, on the way here, you couldn't see 10 feet in front of you. I don't, we're going to see Vistas of fog. <laughs> Chris? Chris, I, Chris wanted to go this way. Like, He's like, I don't go. think it leads anywhere. I'm like, Chris, the there's there. the yellow. <laughs> I'll go this way. Didn't even see those, by the way. Totally oblivious. Right. <laughs> I was fascinated by whatever. Told me. Well, because there's a nice view right here. There is a nice view. There's a one lane bridge, so we're gonna cross the room. Hopefully, the trail picks up over here. You don't have to walk the bridge, right? No. Oh, over here. I don't see any like anything. Yeah, there is a word. There is poison ivy everywhere here. It's there's a path where the trail is very slippery, so we're trying to cross the bridge. Got the reservoir over here. And we're trying to speed it up. Made across the bridge. And, oh, I thought this was the yellow marker, but it was the yellow sign. Oops. Now we need to find a path for the trail. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. All right, we're gonna scope it out. It's early spring, things are starting to to bloom, grow. So it's kind of tricky now to find some trails. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's see what we can find. Probably nothing. <laughs> oh, hell no! Made it about 100 yards or so. It's been a bleep show pretty much the whole way. Completely mud, completely mud, and when it's not mud, it's poison ivy. So I'm, get, I'm trying to get my complaining out now. I'm hoping it gets better as we go along because I'm like swatting now. I'm trying to pay attention where I'm walking. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. It's a humid day, so all the bugs are out. Oh yeah, but I had to just stop here and uh, all picked a good spot because to take a break. Gorgeous view. Yeah, look at that. Wow, when the fog lifted a little bit, just enough for us to kind of get an, um a view across the lake, so it's beautiful, wonderful. Reservoir, sorry, reservoir. So there's nothing that I can really give you to distinguish, but we're walking on this basically washed out trail. And as you go up, you can see, that's the trail, just that, that downward slide. The rest is just a cliff going down. If, if my foot is on the edge right here, it's on the edge, so like, if I just put my foot over a little bit, you'll go right off down into the water. So, yeah, obviously we're not showing you at the most precarious spots because, well, we're concentrating at that point. Just wanted to try to illustrate, it's hard for me to get a good shot, but trying to illustrate what it's like. To her right, your left, is just a cliff down. There's nothing ever shows the way I want it to. Supposedly it's a trail, it's on the map that we found, but I'm not sure if in the past it was different and it just eroded over time, but I definitely wouldn't go this way uh, anymore. Jeez. Problem is on the video, they're probably like, oh, it's flat, it looks flat. It's not it's flat at all, but it's not flat. No. It just looks like it, it's like this.
Looks like we found another vehicle of some sort. All overgrown in. It's a chassis of something. If you know, leave a comment. So I still wonder how they got it. Not sure, they dropped it off. All right, we're continuing on. We're all, we are on an unmarked trail and we're trying to make our way to a blue trail. Almost there, Chris. I see white markers. I see white markers, so I thought it was blue. But we're gonna continue on the white trail. Chris is complaining. Uh, it is absolutely humid today. It's just sticky. Sticky, sticky. And I think it started to uh, to drizzle actually. You hear it through the leaves and the canopy. All right, needs to be careful, lots of rocks. But well, it's absolutely gorgeous in here. Check out the scenery and the greenery. Beautiful. Finally. Openness. Yeah, before the unmarked trail that we were on, it was very tight feeling, like. And dangerous feeling. Yeah. Save yourself, don't do it. Don't do it. I hear water up ahead, so let's check it out. Before we get to that water she's talking about, I just had to tell, oh, I just had to tell you, save yourselves danger and aggravation. Do not take whatever trail we took. I don't even know how to tell you which one it is because it's not a marked trail. I thought maybe it was a marked trail. It's on the map, but it's not a technically a marked trail because there's no markers. <laughs> so uh, somebody put it on the map. We always want everybody to be safe. You know, we wouldn't do it again. So we're just telling you. So we'll hopefully help you avoid any uh, challenges. So, all right, let's go get that water. God, sounds so great right now. Can you go back and get the tripod? I forgot it. Lost. Are we crossing? I mean, technically, could you? Yeah, I mean, you could. The only thing I can think of is jump from here to there, walk a little there, jump to there. I don't know. I'm not sure. So up there where you see the water fall up there, in the background, that's where you're supposed to cross. So we came down a little ways. We're trying to see if there's another way to go across. It's a little bit easier and safer. So we'll see what happens. It's always an adventure. Hope you guys are enjoying. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. We appreciate the support. Keeps us mentally focused when we're trying to get through these moments knowing that you guys support us. You can do it. Oh boy. Turn it off. We made it across. Just took a little bit of a ingenuity and critical thinking. Stupidity. A little bit of stupidity. But we found the white trail and we're going to continue on. A little uphill first. You talking about the bugs? Lots of bugs, lots of mosquitoes. Bring your bug spray. Oh my god, there's like a shrimp in there. Can you see him come out? There he goes. It's like a little lobster, huh? Pretty crazy. Hello, froggy. These things kept scaring us jumping into the water. Check them out. Okay, guys, so we just took turned off the white, thank goodness onto, it's not a trail, like a marked trail. I know you're saying, oh, here they go again. But it's not, it's not marked. Oh. 
it's nice and wide but it's wide it's probably like more of like an access road type of thing and uh yeah so we just made it right off of that i just wanted to let you know i'd tell you which what it was but i don't actually know what it is because there's no colors or anything like that it's just we were walking on it we came to a spot where it was more open you go left or right you go left or right and we went left no we went right yeah we went right the the <laughs> i'm like uh, sorry the white trail does continue though we just taking a shortcut i don't know if you guys can see him oh he stepped right on him oh thank god she stepped over him she didn't even see him little dude oh my god the salamander thing these mosquitoes are so bad god they suck is he orange yes he's orange i don't know why i miss him Holy mackerel. Like, I'm bit, hands, arms, everywhere. God, this walk sucks. <laughs> he hears one out of the grass. She almost stepped on him again. <laughs> Very cool, though. They're so tiny. He's probably maybe two inches long at most. It is just so human and sticky and buggy. A lot of mosquitoes. I can't even tell you how many bites I have. I'm trying to get to some open air, maybe a breeze. Let's get away from these bugs. At least I have long sleeve shirts on, so that's helping a little bit, but my ears not doing so well. Whew. How are you making out? This is rough. Just humid. Humid. We, we, I think we're both defeated. We didn't even get to anything yet. We've been going for like two hours. I think the worst for me are these bugs. Oh my god, I hate bugs. And you're like, what are you doing in nature? It's like, I enjoy being in the outdoors. I hate bugs. Can't help it. What? Yes, sir. You weren't listening, were you? Bugs. Oh, I was listening. I was like, all right. So I just wanted to give you a quick update. Not to show you, <laughs> just us uh, struggling through this path. <sighs> up and down. We've gone up a lot up and down. There's been a lot of up and downs here. Like it's like up the mountain and down a valley. Up the I don't know if we're going through like different mountains and valleys or if we're just, it's just kind of meandering and going up and down the same one. <laughs> Might be a possibility. So, I'm right, gonna get back to focusing. Stick with us. Exploring is always an adventure. All right, guys. So this is what they considered a vista. I thought it was, I'm thinking like overlook. You're up on top, looking out over. You get a view of the lake and everything else, reservoir, whatever the stupid water is called. And uh, I feel like we walked forever. And according to Ola, we walked nowhere. And we're not even a quarter of the way around <laughs> this entire time. We've been walking for like two and a half hours. So we didn't make it a quarter of the way. It's not distance. We didn't go very far. But it's just taking a really long time to try and navigate through here. Um, it's it's like difficult. Six, seven miles yeah, it's another six, seven miles around. So, yeah. I hate turning back and going back. I hate it. Um, Maybe we'll just hang here for a little bit and then see. I don't know what to do. I mean, I don't think we'll make it all the way around. It'll just take too long if it's this way. If it, like, stayed, like, more flat and along the water, I think we would have been better off. But because it's up and down and going into in and in and out of uh like the deep into the woods um it's just taking a long time we're not getting a lot of distances from uh as far as getting around the reservoir and um if these are the we views we're gonna get blocks with crossing streams as well and the streams yeah. are a little bit full just because it has been raining yeah so there's not much it's taking us a long around. time yeah um but again I, these the views that i was hoping we were gonna get are not what i was expecting so it's not a, that's a bad walk. If we want to come and do it, it, it's a good walk. You're gonna get a walk out of it, but you're not gonna get a lot of views and maybe just a different time of year would be better. Like I said, mentally, it's been very challenging with um, just the bugs and the humidity. So, I don't know, we'll let you guys know. Okay, you wanna tell them what we're doing? Well, we're gonna get to the next intersection and we're gonna trail it back the way we came. Oh, there's a cute little bird on the tree there. If we keep continuing on around the reservoir, it's gonna be like seven miles. And we did a lot already coming in. All right, spit it out. More energy efficient to turn back. 
it we, i'm glad we came up a little bit further we just walked a little further along the trail and you do get to a little bit by the water which is nice so it looks like there's some little beaver action down here and you can see a little bit oh yeah a lot of but you know, at least we got to see this a little bit and see out a little ways and the fog lifted a little bit so it's nice but we are going to head back inside so we're not going to be along the water anymore on the way back not that we really were on the way in either but yeah but we're going to take hopefully it looks like it's a more straight path instead of a meandering path and we're hoping that it's not too much up and down the contour lines looks kind of flat so hopefully that'll be in our favor but yeah the road just to kind of help us out although it's cobbles i'm not cobbles, it's it's stone so we'll see how gravel. much yeah, yeah gravel so that's not it's fun to walk on than yeah, we just, I don't know why, we're not, we don't care about the ups and downs and things like that. It's just been a struggle just with all the different things today. It's just humid. Yeah, just so psychologically, we're just kind of like, meh. <laughs> yeah, and just so time-wise, just, just too much time is taken, so. All right, let's get going. We took up too much of their time, right? <laughs> Look at that little frog. He's so tiny. Size my finger, frog. Show him mama. Mama frog. Did you call the Uber? I called Uber, but oh, this nice. is what arrived. I don't know. I don't know if I want to get in the car with this driver. Oh, okay, do your thing. Jeff, this is our driver. That... I'm gonna pass. I'm not sure how many stars this guy got. Well, we did just pass a whole group of people walking, hiking, so they seem like their energy was up high, so maybe this is a good luck way of going. Update, because I don't think we told you guys we're on the purple trail. Looks like we have like a little pond swamp area. Look, a vista. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I'm not freaking, oh my god. All right, let's keep it moving. So, I can't even, I don't think we're going to make it. So this is where we came up to on the purple path. Well, we gotta... Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make that. I ain't hopping that one. We're making, we're, there's no path here. Okay. Since we're suffering, I wanted to at least show you what we got. God, bushwhacking, doing this. These bugs are absolutely ridiculous. This is horrible. We're also by a swamp, I guess. God, this sucks. Oh, I know I'm complaining, but I really don't know what else to do. Sorry. This is horrible. I didn't expect this at all. Ugh. I already stepped in poison a hundred times already. It sucks. Oh, sorry. I can't keep the camera straight. I'm trying to get these bugs away from me. So we've come to an impasse. Come on, let's just bulldoze through it. Yeah, a tree came down, but this path wasn't cleared yet. Ouch. Whoa, losing my balance here. It's no good footing to put on. Still on the purple trail. And we're kind of losing motivation. No, it's gone. No motivation. No, All right. That's fine. Inchworm. Right there. Say hi to YouTube. Came to another spot where we had to go left to right. The purple went right, we went left. It's not marked again, but there's a trail here. It's crazy, there's a lot of trees down. Not, not cool. But uh, yeah, I ran under a couple. Don't play around. And then, uh, yeah, so we don't know where we're going from here. We're trying to just get back the shortest way, so. Um, gosh darn it. Limbo. Oh, sheesh. Holy big bird. The turkey vulture up there. I can't see him from here. Oh, I swear to you. I'm not gonna see him, you're not gonna see him on camera. Are you coming? It's not coming. 
There's the turkey vulture right there. Sorry, it's not so clear, but she's scoping the area out. She's probably looking to see if me and Chris is gonna drop so you can swoop in. Oh, real nice. Ooh, I don't know if you can hear the wings. Just gotta show you can see heavy. You still touched, you didn't get under. I did too. Nope, failed. Do a better job. His wingspan's big. I heard, I heard it when he when he like went from one branch to the other. Like, it sounds like a freaking jet taking off. Crazy. Amazing how loud they are. Oh my goodness. I see I see Marcus for the white tra trail to the right over here, but that's not where this trail's going. I mean it might lead there eventually, but yeah, no, we're just walking through high grass, you know, stuff like that. Boys I'd be loving it. I haven't really showed you that. We'll get we'll get, get you a view. Oh, we're we gonna go left or right. I think it's raining. It might be raining. Do we have to go left or right? Um, Map check. Right. Oh. Let me just double check. Yeah, double check. It's a good thing I'm not getting attacked by bugs or anything. And I hold on, I just lost my orientation. Just give me a second. Press the orientation button. It's all right. Uh, oriented. All right, we're going right. Backtracked a little bit. Update needed to reorient because the trail didn't feel right so good thing i checked again i this one? think we have to do this oh. one i don't know i need to check again oh we only went 10 feet i know but this is confusing like i said there's a couple different trails that meet here all right but not all at the same time did we mention it's buggy very buggy we got we gotta check the map all right hurry up check the map all right come on do it boom across the stream did it. We've only crossed like 10 of them so far. We didn't record any of them. We this could, one was one of the easy ones. We've just been running the whole time through. We, I know we should, we could have recorded so much more, but oh. it was mostly just me cursing. So, yeah, we have to bleep the whole thing out anyway. <laughs> Day 37. Oh, sucks. There are no views in here whatsoever. We're just trying to make it through. There's so much mud and like ponds of water and stuff you have to, that are covering the road and you have to bushwhack around it on the sides. It's so not what I expected. That's the only thing. I just wasn't expecting this at all. I wasn't expecting the humidity. Maybe I should have, but like I said, it was just weather just went crazy from one thing to the next. I just didn't have anything like better. Bugs are killing. And the crazy frogs. Frogs are everywhere. Jumping crazy out. everywhere. So many frogs, you think they'd eat the damn mosquitoes? Oh my goodness. So I don't know what this rope's here for. I don't know if that was supposed to help you get across. This on that thing you see the purple. This was the trail. We were coming this way, I was like, hopefully it'll be better upstream than it was for us crossing downstream. Uh <laughs> not so much. Yeah, not so much. I don't see anything. No way to cross. I know down here's the rocks, but it, you're gonna have to take a leap. Like, I don't know if they can, you can't see probably. They look like it's oh, it's just rocks to go across. Hey, frogs are good. But they're not as close as it looks like from here. Oh, shoot. I don't know. We tried to hike a little bit ways upstream and then we tried downstream. I found much. There's a beaver dam up here. I don't know if she's gonna get any video of it. It's like going through all this, you gotta hop over one rocks to the water. It sounds fun until you try and do it. We made it through some of this. It's pretty horrible, actually. <laughs> I don't want to go back, but I'm trying to figure out which way to go. I don't want to see it straight away. And if I go, I don't want to bushwhack through this just to get stuck again. So, yeah. Not really sure what to do here. Now nah, she's getting video. like a beaver dam over here. And we're trying to cross. Yeah, okay. I just walked over like all the day. I just jumped off. I was done. We just spent like a half an hour always washing our hands. Now we're literally had to be half hour, maybe more, just walking back and forth, back and forth, trying to figure it out. And we just, I saw that in the beginning about the log. And I'm like, I don't know if it's a good idea to step on it because 
do not sound it was. I'm trying to figure out where we gotta go next. Cause, oh, the trail's this way. Of course, the trail's flooded. Holy mackerel, these freaking beavers, man. I just want to pull out a couple sticks over there. Just like to see what it would be like over here if the dam wasn't here. We made it to the road. I am spent. Jeez. The road. All right, we're heading back to the car. See you there. Uh, that purple trail was horrible. The Maybe, beaver. Beaver. yeah, the beaver ruined it. Otherwise the water, well, actually, I don't know what would happen if all that water would just be flowed. I don't know, maybe it would drain out or, or it would be higher. But the, yeah, the beaver definitely because of the dam made it so difficult to cross everywhere. And I don't know if there's more water because of the rain and stuff right now. So, yeah, it's looking back to getting back across that bridge. Well, the bridge, the dam. So, all right, so how do we make it? We made it across the bridge. Yeah. Closer to the car. Yep. I show them what we had to come to. Yeah, we're not going through there. That's how we came down. Did we mention the poison ivy everywhere? <laughs> it's literally the whole path was poison ivy. Oh, that sucked. I'm All right. We didn't go down that way. No, I'm glad we didn't go that way either. Although now it's probably dry. But get up. Come over here. You're on the wrong side of the road. They can't see you on the corner. I swear you would have walked down that way somewhere. And back to the gravel.